95.5 WFMS. Good morning. You're with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. And now... Oh, here we go. The story of Deb and her husband, Greg. And the sit, sitting of the weight machine in one spot for... The deadline is passed. Half. Here we go. The deadline to remove the weight machine that's sitting next to the baby grand piano in the former living room was yesterday. Right. Yes. And mm-hmm. as Greg pointed out, he had till midnight. And it's been there a year and a half. It's been there a year and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and, uh, and you're hosting Thanksgiving. I'm hosting Thanksgiving. I've refused, already done it once. Refuse to have that in the living room. Not going to do again. it again. No. And as, as harsh as it sounds, I've been very patient. A year and a half is patient. And what was the ultimatum? If it's not gone by if last night? If it's not night, gone by, by yesterday. Yesterday, you are not invited to Thanksgiving, <laughs> which means go find your turkey elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and as of 10 o'clock last night, I posted. Yeah. That it still had not been moved. In fact, I'd poured myself a glass of wine to cope. Mm-hmm. And um, and I'm not a big drinker, but yeah. I, I was getting livid. And then all of a sudden, my, uh, my my youngest came through and said, Mom, is he really not going to eat here? I said, that is correct. He will not be eating here. He said, oh, this is a problem. I said, yeah. And he goes, actually, this is embarrassing. I said, yes, it is, <laughs> son. Yes, it is. And I walked out of the room. So I, the suspension is killing me. So dude. my oldest son said, Dad whose feet were kicked up on the couch and he was lounging and relaxing, watching Bigfoot. (laughs) And Griffin said, I'm getting ready to leave. Would you like help moving the weight machine? We would like you to join us for Thanksgiving. (laughs) Right, right. It's in my garage. (laughs) Thanks to my son, Griffin, saved the day. Uh Uh-huh. So he got dad off the couch. Now, it, off the couch. And and it was, and Greg said, I had the whole plan. I was going to surprise you this morning and wake you up. Oh. and Or when you get up for work and it would be out of there. But why did he wait to the last minute? My nerves cannot take this. <laughs> but so, it's But gone. here's the deal. No, no, no. It's not gone. Well, it's half gone. It's in the garage. For which another means year and a half. He could not, <laughs> no, I told him, I, you, we will need an attorney <laughs> if it is not moved out of there immediately after Thanksgiving. But uh-huh. he bought himself a little time. Although the rule was off the property, if you recall. Right. Well, he should right. at least get cranberries off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were people, some of our very generous <laughs> listeners were very concerned about Greg. If you go to the Jim, Deb, and Kevin page on Facebook, they're all asking, where will he eat? Right. They were very concerned right. about it. And I, oh. I said, I have no idea, but it's not going to be at our house. So he is joining us at the table. He's, <laughs> he is uh, good for, for turkey and gravy and mashed potatoes. I mean, we, I, he had that thing moved. Just before we'd, 11. We'd like to have Dad for dinner. You know, wouldn't that be nice? I think, I think you know Griffin what? was panicked. I think the bigger picture here is the family came together. No, no, I didn't. I didn't come well, together. Well, the kids came together to help Dad out. <laughs> and I think that's, that's, a great, that's a great thing. I think it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. story. You'd like to see some photos? I'm posting, you have them? I'm posting them now on Facebook. We have some indentations in the carpet after a year and a half.